Hello and welcome back to Memorabilia Monday. This, of course, is your favorite part about Mondays. I'm John, and with me, as always, is my old man. This is Bob the Collector. How you doing, Collector? Doing well. Well, this might be a little weird, as we are wearing the same outfits as we had in a previous Memorabilia Monday, but this may well be my last episode. I'm currently not in Minnesota. It's in Arizona this right is now. Airing. Yeah. yeah, it's about 125 <laughs> degrees there, but... Uh, we are having current open tryouts for the son or daughter or dog, whatever you want. So uh, we've had some strong candidates yeah. apply so far, and we're actually just so people are aware, uh, open interviews in August. So um, I got some resumes to look at, some video to review, but I think we found a couple people that yeah. are pretty good. But again, send us your contact information if you're interested, because we're always willing to, you know, we're checking out everybody that we can. We can get our hands on yeah. just to see what what they have to offer if well, they can fill this role. With that being said, we're going to follow the theme that we have been doing in the past videos, baseball. Who do you have for us? Oh. <laughs> well, since this is potentially your last episode, I'm going back to the beginning. And one of the first autographs I received was 1988. I was at a um, double A game in Charlotte, North Carolina. I was living in Charlotte at the time. and out there signing autographs, Bob Feller. And I talked about this, I had him sign it on an eight by 10. That's somewhere in the collectible room, I don't know where it is, um, but that's before I really knew what I was doing and I you know, had the autograph framed, the eight by 10 framed, didn't put it in a nice dark room to protect it. So it was out in the open and it, it's faded, but it's not terrible. But what I wanted to show you were some other items from Bob Feller. Yeah. So got a couple baseballs. He was at a lot of collectible shows back in the day. Um, you know, the Chicago Sports Spectacular, all different types of shows that would go at. He would usually be one of the guests. So I went at, he's a Hall of Famer, a legend, so I'd get his autograph. He's usually pretty reasonable, too. So here's one of them, Bob Feller with the Hall of Fame. And what he started doing at the end was he'd put the year that he signed it on there. So this was done in 2004. Cool. This one is kind of cool. This was signed in 08. He's got an 08 mark on it. So that's kind of nice to know when it was actually signed. This one's inscribed, I struck out Lou Gehrig, Bob Feller, Hall of Fame 62. So I like that. Cool. I like the description. Not people could do that. Yeah. And then I also have one about his um, uh, his fastball. Yeah. Like, it was like 107.6 miles per hour or something. He inscribed it. I didn't find that ball. That's somewhere in the room. But I thought I'd show these two, as well as a mini helmet from Bob. Very cool. So you remember meeting him? Yeah. Yeah, nice guy. Yep. So yeah, he um, he was at, like I said at a lot of shows. So his autographs out there, but still a legend and um, a great guy, uh, fun to talk to, and he always had a story to tell you. Absolutely. So well, I'll have some B-roll over the baseballs and the helmets. So you guys can closer look. pitchers of all time. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, he's just uh, dominating. Hall of Fame 62, so you know, you know, he's one of the first ones to go in. I mean, we were talking about in the early 60s. Yeah. You know, so he was, um, he went, went in right away. I think he also served during World War II in the Army, so you know, it took one of those guys like Ted Williams and yeah. those guys that took time out of their prime of their career to, you know, serve the country. Very cool. Well, I think that wraps up another episode of Memorabilia Monday. We hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you can follow us on Facebook at Collector and Son, Twitter at Collector underscore and underscore Son, Instagram at Collector underscore and underscore Son, and be sure to like and subscribe to help grow our YouTube channel. It means a lot. And until next time, remember to keep it mint. Keep it gem mint, just like these Bob Feller items. Keep it gem mint, everybody. And we'll oh, you know what we should have done, now that I think of it? Remember we had our Bob theme? Yeah. We should have Bob in there. Oh, yeah. Oh. What, what, what were you thinking? I missed it. Well, we missed it only by a couple of weeks. Yeah. Because we did Bob Gibson, we did Bob Cousy. We should have done Bob Feller right away. So people this like that. This is what you're going to be dealing with if you become the son. <laughs> like your son. Yeah. So you got to deal with the collector. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> and until next time, remember to keep it mint. All right, bye.